And here we are. And already I'm just being drawn to stuff. Oh my goodness, my eyes get so excited. Like, what is this? This kind of has like, is that butterfly wings? Moth looking, peacock looking, $3.99. It's got some aging and crackling. I think it's gorgeous for $3.99. I'm gonna grab that one. It's a kitty cat. Has some cute little flowers. $1.99. It's just maybe a like a homemade art studio piece, but something to think on. It's got flowers and it's a kitty cat. I may come back to this one. We'll see. Oh my gosh, is that a frog firefighter? That is so cute. <laughs> Not sure what this is. It's a newer piece, but just that general style. Do you lean something up against it? Please don't tell me it's the toilet bowl scrubber and I just touched it. Oh, he's a cute pair of perfume, but you know my thing of perfume. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. This is really nice. I wasn't sure if this was a crack or not. I think it is. Yeah, it's got a little bit of chipping. Looks like a homemade studio piece from 1985. Still very beautiful. Possibility. Alright, what do we got here? This looks like it's stuck on, it's $2.99. I'm guessing maybe you put your sugar in there. And then you've got the top. And your spoon would come out here. It's missing the spoon. It probably had a ceramic spoon, but $2.99. I like that. What do you think? Possibility? Should I take it? Alright, now this is just a nice white base candle holder. Always makes me, me nervous when I pull things from up top because Sometimes things are not connected and you think they are. So I've got a good hold on this one. Cream, nice white base there, made in Portugal. Beacon Hill ink. I love this one. I'm gonna take this one for sure. Already I'm sensing a theme. Got some beautiful creamy neutrals going on. No idea what this is, but I gotta see it. Can I touch it? Can I touch it? It's not sticky. What is that? Okay, there's a sticker on it. What does it say? Something prism glass? I don't know, I've never seen this before, so I've kind of got to look at it now. Let me push this in, let's see what's going on. Is it resin? It's $3.99. I don't know what that is. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Oh, the candle is burnt down inside. I think it's a candle holder. Interesting, interesting. Oh, you're still here. Yeah, I was gonna take this guy home. I see his, there used to be something here. Yeah, his little cone holder. Oh yeah, that's right, he's broken. And I was, he sticks there. And then um, you put your backflow cone up here and the smoke kind of comes down. They wanted way too much for him last time. So I ended up leaving him. Do you see that? Yeah, this was a sticker. And I said, I'm, I'm not seeing the Goodwill sticker. What is the price? And they said, that's it right there, G999. So they have this one for 999, but it's broken. And it's sad because I would have taken this home. I took it to the register and because, and now it's, he looks like he's even worse off because I don't remember him missing all of this feed. Anyhow, poor little guy. Welcome to the smallest Grand O Opry. Opryland. Never been there before. Look at this. The smallest, cutest little set. We must be in Smallville. Look at these. Are they candle holders with little pigs or are they thimbles? They're cute. Oh, man. What's are you? You are a. You're an interesting 
little guy, aren't you? This is like a nice little bowl. I do like the colors in here and the flowers and that crackle crazy made in Japan. This one looks like it might be, ooh, there's two stickers, $1.99 and $5.99. I don't know. It might be $5.99 because that one's kind of lifted. Hmm. If it was $1.99, yes, $5.99. No, I'm going to pass. Little candle holder. Oh, nothing inside of you. You are $1.99. I'm gonna do the little check. You're $1.99. I think I can sell you all day long. This looks like a vase that's been painted on. Six, no, eight ninety nine. I'm gonna leave that one. But the flower painter in me says I could definitely paint some vases and do something similar. Okay, I'm seeing cute stuff. Look at this. It's baby corn. These open. Oh, there's things inside of them. Look at that. I got a scarecrow. It's gotta be something squirrely inside of here. What do you think? Oh, I need two hands. And then we've got the corn. A whole spread going on there with squash and pumpkins. One moment, I need to open this. Do you? We opened the other two. If I don't open the other one now, I'll never know. Oh, look! It's a whole basket of corn. That's super cute. All right, I do like this back here as well. This is neat. Yarn in a bottle. Listen to me. This is neat. I'm just telling you. That's a whole thing right there. Like a whole look. I'm gonna have to buy that. Four dollars. That's kind of cool and interesting for my magical storefront. Yes, I think we're gonna get this. Somebody will love that, those rustic colors and be like, yeah, I need it too. All right, then let's take a look at this guy. He's $1.99. Got a little chip right there, but I can put some color on that so I'm not worried about it. It's got character just plays into it. What's the price? $1.99. Let's grab this one. It's so quiet here today, guys. There's no music. It's kind of nice, though. I like it. It's relaxing. Now, I love these. Purple. They almost look like they have a candle in them, except they don't. They got a nice clean rim, no breaks. And they are $3.99 for the set. See what they want in the price of this. Oh, cute little. Oh, what a cute little um, mug set. But I need some more of these for my store. Ah, oh, no price. I've been selling my paintings and stuff, guys. If you uh, follow me on Brush Life, that is my other channel. You'll see what I've been painting and what I'm up to. But I use those to stand my paintings up with, my books up with. Beauty and the Beast, Avon. This guy is cute. He's $3.99. This part is a little dusty out here. Mm, gonna think on him. Much. This is a nice clear one. 
She's two ninety nine. Possibility. Oh, look at this little tree. Looks like he's missing one of his little picture frames. But honestly, you know, you'd never really know. You know? Let's see, five dollars. That's a nice direct buy price right there. This one is. It's got some pretty bling bling, a little shabby glam. Yeah, I'm going to get a price on this guy. And if he's in like the $2 range, I will gladly give him a home. This is an example of the stuff that you can buy and paint. So, this is obviously a tissue box cover. You know, you could paint that, do something fun with it, and then resell it. So, if you got some paint techniques, I'm just saying you could jazz it up. This piece back here has such vibrant colors into it. It's a little birdhouse. Oh, she's sweet. She's $3.99. I do love it. It's obviously rustic themed, but I do love it. This is interesting. They have all these photo sets up here. $1.99. Oh yeah, they kind of got this like amber, they're plastic, but it's got like this amber feel to them. It looks like they were Dollar General for a dollar each, and there's two in a set. So those are obviously at the price that they normally sell at. But if you need them, you need them. This is a plastic shelf. I thought that was wicker. And we're gonna do a browse over the Christmas section because there could be anything in here. That's a cute little one right there. It'd be nice like if it was near Christmas. So uh, yeah, I don't tend to buy Christmas. As we get closer to the month, yes, but I'm just not somebody that would sell it year round. He's cute. All right, so in this section over here, this is generally where like there's, you might find some cool frames, some cool furniture. I like this blue that's on this old painted dresser. Really nice. I'm not in the market, but I do like to just look. So for 30 bucks, technically 29.99, the penny matters. Um, yeah, that's a great steal. And it's hardwood. It's hardwood. They don't make it like they used to. That's why that stuff lasts so long. All right, let's see what's down here. All right. This is a pumpkin canvas. Well, I mean, it's not a canvas. It's a piece of wood. Proof that anything can be a canvas for $2.99. Mm -hmm. If I really wanted to, I could buy this and repaint it in my own, do my own version. So that's a possibility. This frame. Okay, if this frame is in my price point area, I'm going to get it. I do love it as is if you were, you know, creating a, if you wanted to create a moody wall and you love this style, it could be beautiful as is. For me right now, I'm looking at it as it's a piece of cardboard. It's faded. Not everybody would love it. And I may just get it to paint over it. Here's the question. Is it in our wheelhouse? Five dollars. Five dollars. I feel I should take it. I mean, that's a pretty nice looking frame. I could even redo the back and just stick on some new paper over the back. All right, I think I'm gonna grab this one. So, now you know what I'll be painting my next round of shabby flowers on. Oh, this is kind of cool too. Like this is another example. So this is two dollars, and it's got a like a print stuck down on the front of it. That's really just aged a lot. Not a lot of people would necessarily appreciate it, but for me as a creative painter, I could get that and paint on that if I wanted to. Do I want to? Dollar ninety nine. Should I do it? I feel like I might want to, guys. Yeah. All right. 
second shabby floral painting surface or you know whatever I want to put on it. It doesn't necessarily have to be flowers. I don't want to walk too far away from my uh, cart. I do pick nice things and sometimes people follow me and be like watching to see if I put anything back. I like this one right here. I have had one of these. It's like the tree with the bird. I love that. Nature things sell. Cozy things. Oops. Let's push this guy out. All right, we're gonna grab that one. Oh, I haven't even made it to that side yet. It's so exciting. Okay, let's take the cart with us. I need it all, so I can't afford for anything to go missing right now. <clears throat> I turn vegetables into bacon. What's your superpower? because it's from the same bookstore. So this one's $3.99. You can see where it's from back here. I think I might just put a new back on it and use this frame. This is gonna be another amazing paint surface. Just, these plates look old, old, really old. I wanna see what they are. Royal Albert Crown Ch China. Very sweet though. Some great fabrics here. What are you, you furry thing, you? What is that, like a big shawl? I think it is. It's kind of nice. Some nice curtains too. If you're crafting and you want to get bits and pieces, Goodwill's a great place to pop by. Okay, it is a cactus. You know I'm gonna see it if it's a cactus. Do you see it? It's a big cactus and then you put that on your wall and you can like uh, put on whatever it is. Oh my gosh, she's $3.99. I'm convincing myself I need this. Basically, you can put it on your wall and then you can pin things to it, like pictures and stuff like that. Not lying, I kinda want it. Frankie's Designs, 1979. Huh. Never came across this design before. We got a Mandela. Primitives by Kathy. I think I know that name. Price on it though. Cornwall wood products. Anybody recognize what that is? It seems old. It seems like it would be used for something. Marbles? Is it a marble game? I bet you somebody out there knows. But it looks like. Yeah, it will go on your tabletop because it has those pads. I have no clue. I might have to post this one to see if any of our followers identify it. Oh, here's another example. I would totally paint this. Don't hate me, but I would totally paint this. Donna White. I think I have sold. Her. I think she has collectible plates and I've sold them on eBay before, believe it or not. So this is $4. Do you get that with it? I mean, if you get that with it, you'd have a gorgeous plate that you could um, paint over. Uh, no, it's separate. But this one is $1.99. I feel like that's a great deal for that. So I'm definitely going to get that. I feel like it might go together. I would just keep this to... Um, prop things up up for like merchandising at the store. I'm gonna grab that for a buck ninety nine. Alright, maybe I'll leave the plate. No, I want the plate. Four dollars. I 
could do a really cool little painted plate. I like the texture of this. Okay, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm going to regret it later if I don't. Look at, oh, look at this. This is a gorgeous jewelry box. And look at that. It's got like that federal style. This is the kind of style hardware that you'd see on some of the, like the 1950s stuff. Um, it looks old. How old is that? How much is that? Six dollars, guys. Six dollars. I'm not tall enough to see. Let me pull out these drawers. Is it plastic though? Okay, it's missing one drawer. Is it a, it's a combo, it seems like. No, it is. It is real wood. Oh yeah, she's a little messy in there. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful project. This might be the most beautiful jewelry box I have ever seen. I mean, look at all this room for decorating. It's just a project you would definitely have to clean it out and all that stuff, but for the right person, it is cool. Oh, she's sweet, but you know me. I would never be able to fit everything I have in this. Love it though, three ninety nine. You're gonna be outside. Nordstrom. I wonder how much that goes for. That's a Nordstrom purse. I knew she looked fantastic. Look how sweet. What am I tangled up in? Look at that sweet little purse. Hmm. Makes me want to think about, you know, getting into this sort of thing. I always stick to home decor, but... It is cute. I might have to just look that one up. And this looks like a cat toy. I think we're in the mishmash thing. Oh, look, the shake weight. Do we? Do you guys see a lot of shake weights at um, Goodwill? <laughs> Crack me up, I swear. It's like they're always at Goodwill. Oh, look at this box over here. Look at this box. I think this is a bin. Getting ready to put these out. All right, let's check this out. Three ninety-nine. Oh my gosh, guys! Look at that teal. I don't recognize that crest. It's got like fleur de lis into it. I think I'm gonna grab this for three ninety-nine. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. All right, some kitcheny stuff down there. way to go. Anything else in here? Don't know what this is. What is that? She is $4.99. $4.99. A little pricey for me, but what do you think? A single stem flower holder? Sometimes I find random things poked in here as well. Wow, look at this one. Oh my guys. She is $2.99. Handcrafted. Made in Japan. I really feel like we've got lots of warms. I mean, look in here. There is definitely a theme going on. Orange is rust. <sighs> yes, my eyes are set on the desert, and now I will see everything rustic and orange. And just, I'm gonna grab this one, by the way. It's a nice jog, beautiful, earthy jog for somebody who wants to put flowers, use it to water their flowers, just decor on a shelf. Would you have taken it if you were me as well? Again, I just do a scan in this section just to see. I am hunting as well for a future project I think I've shared before, so stay tuned with that. Um, more to come. Look at that big canister. Oh, I like this color is down here. 11 piece for $12.99. Nice. Yeah, if I was starting over right now and I needed stuff, you can find so much stuff at Goodwill to stock a home. There's just so much out there. Oh my golly gee. Oh my golly gee. Oh my golly gee. This was a $5 piece. Alright, I 
I'm gonna take this up front and see how much they'll sell it for. You can see it was marked five. So they've gotta sell it for less than five, right? I could flip this easily. And then I think there's, it's like a resin one, but you can see right here. That's no problem because I've got gold paint. I can do this project. Actually, maybe I'll do that over on my Brush Life channel. So that is where you see me kind of like work the behind the scenes of my creative business. So yeah, we'll, we'll fix that one up together over there. Okay, let's see, anything else of interest? Ooh, what is that? You put something on there and you warm it up. Not, maybe it's a cup. Maybe it is a cup, um, you know, like a coffee cup warmer. You guys see anything else? Anything else jumping out of you? We got a boatload here. We already got a cart full. Now we're just going in for any choice pieces. Anything at all. And then this looks like the hardware, a utensil. Look, they got a paint section. Good for them. You need stuff in a pinch? Look, there's a paint tray. They're a buck ninety-nine. That's good to know. That's really good to know. All right, friends, uh, let's do a quick cart scan. I gotta tell you, I'm loving everything in here. I got some surfaces to paint on, gorgeous rustic decor, lots of candle holders. And yeah, I really do feel like there is this really cool theme going on with everything. It's very orangey, rustic. And it's so funny because um, I was saying in one of my recent videos that I love this combo together with the turquoise and the rusty orange. Do you guys remember when I did that walkthrough of that gorgeous earth and home adobe style place we stayed at? Um, it was over again on my Brush Life channel uh, and I pointed to a bedspread and I'm like, I love these colors together. Feeling very inspired. Maybe that's where it, you know, you can't hide what's inside. All right, friends, I'm going to head over to the register. I'm gonna get a price, I think, on a couple things I have in here. And um, I will see you again real soon. Thanks for hanging out.